I'm Bryce Johnson, and you can unpack this thought about sports, faith, and life. A headline on ESPN.com caught my eye. It says, Jaguars believe Nick Foles will buck free agent QB trend. And so they write, since 2000, 13 other teams have signed a signal caller to a multi-year deal with the intention of making them an immediate starter. Only three have turned out, Peyton Manning, Drew Brees, and Brett Favre. And so the Jaguars have paid Nick Foles $50 million, or they're going to, in guaranteed money. And so will he end up bucking the trend of how normally these quarterbacks turn out? Brock Osweiler comes to mind. Mike Glennon comes to mind. John Kitna. The, 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 the norm is guys leave their team, sign a big contract, and it ends up not working out. Now, I love Nick Foles, so I'm rooting for him to buck the trend. But what about for you and I? Every day in life, we choose, are we going to be another trend or part of the trend or part of culture or another statistic, or are we going to be trend setters? Are we going to stand out? Are we going to make a difference? And ultimately, are we going to follow Jesus? And are we going to allow him to change us and allow us to be transformed? And so the verse that comes to mind in Romans 12, it says, Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. So today, let's buck the trend and truly follow God's will. I'm Bryce Johnson, and you can unpack that. For more faith and sports, visit unpackingit.com.